Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about whether or not the iPhone 6s Plus is worth it in 2018. I think a lot of people have this mindset that if a phone is really old or just like a few years old, it's not like the best and it's just not good for that year, like in 2018. But there are still older phones that are still really great and that still perform really well. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the iPhone 6s Plus and it's been three years since it has been launched. So let's see how it holds up in 2018. So it was launched in 2015 and when they launched it, it came out with a 16 gigabyte and a 64 gigabyte. This is the 64 gigabyte, so there's no problem with storage. Then they refreshed the lineup in 2017 to a 32 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte and also reduced the price. But okay, let's look at some of the specs. So this has a 5.5 inch retina display with 1080 by 1920 pixels. It has an Apple A9 CPU, which is still way faster than a lot of phones of 2017. It has two gigs of RAM and it has an A2750 milliamp hour battery. So the battery life will get you through the day and it should not be a problem with a plus. You can also get battery replacements now for a lot less at Apple. So that alone makes it a really great phone. Okay, so now for the camera, it has a 12 megapixel camera on the back and it has a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Here are some photos that I just took with the camera, just some normal outdoor shots. This is not top photography, but it's just normal photos that you could take day to day. And it can take up to 4K video with 30 frames per second. So here are some videos and it also has image stabilization. So this is not on the 6S, it's only on the 6S Plus, which is a weird choice that they made. But really this video is still great. Like I said, 4K, 30 frames per second. It can take good video, it has stabilization and you can still see very clearly everything that's on the video. So here you can see the settings for recording video, you have different settings, but like I said, top is 4K with 30 frames per second. As for recording slow-mo, you can get it up to 1080p HD at 120 frames per second. It also has live photo, so basically you'll just long press or 3D touch the photo, and it's just a photo with a second before you took the photo and after. You can also just take photos by pressing on the volume rockers if that is something you prefer. Okay, so moving on from the camera, now let's look at some of the hardware. So first thing you'll see here is the volume rocker, so for volume up or volume down, and you'll see the sound switch to completely mute all the volume. That's really something that I really like. You have the home button and you have the antenna vents. This is really something that I use to see what phone people have, since the, only the 6S and the 6S have the antenna bands, and the 6S has the S badge underneath the iPhone. So then you'll see the power switch and the SIM card slot and underneath you have a speaker, you have your charging port and you have a headphone jack. The 6S Plus also has the second generation Touch ID which is faster than the first generation and here you can see some of the capacities like the amount of storage and just going through some apps you can see it's really fast no problem obviously this also depends on your wi-fi whichever apps use wi-fi so yeah this phone is still really fast and i'm really surprised seeing as though it did come out three years ago the phone is running on ios 11.2.5 and as you can see when you swipe up on the control center there you'll see different controls that you have. You can 3D touch to access more controls. And when you go to settings and go to control center, you will see a bunch of other controls that you can add. One of my personal favorites is screen recording. Seeing as though that's something I was really looking forward to having with iOS 11, which was something that was not previously on iOS. So basically just swipe up and then you click on the screen recording option and then it will start to record your iPhone screen. Here you can see it clip which I screen recorded then it has 3d touch which is really a great feature that the iPhone 6 or the SE does not have so yeah this is a really great feature that this phone has so moving on this phone can play games it's really great for gaming it does not buffer or anything it plays games without any problem here you can just see a clip of a game that I just played this is not the like heaviest duty game that you have on iOS so yeah this is just a normal game that you can play from day to day so yeah this is just an example for gaming here you can see the iPhone 6s plus with my iPhone 8 plus 
they're design wise not very different obviously the antenna bands are not there and it has a glass back on the iphone 8 plus and underneath the headphone jack is removed so yeah if that's a big deal for you well, obviously this will be a deal breaker but yeah design wise these things are still very similar and obviously the iphone 8 plus has the dual camera but yeah again design wise these are really similar but yeah so those are the biggest things about the iphone 6s plus now let's move on to my personal opinion okay so when it comes down to my opinion personally i think that this phone is definitely worth it in 2018. when you go to the apple store slash iStore you will see that it costs about 548 dollars for the 32 gigabyte version and about 649 dollars for the 128 gigabyte version and here in south africa it costs about 8999 rand for the 32 gigabyte version and we sadly don't have the 128 gigabyte version in stock if they have a certified pre-owned model that's also a really good idea seeing as though you still get store warranty then if you're on a bit on a tight budget and you don't really care about having a new phone you can also go ahead and go on olx or gumtree and buy the phone second hand in south africa those are the websites that we use in south africa so that's also a really good way to get this phone for a good price i see on gumtree this phone is priced around four thousand and 5,500 Rand and you can still negotiate on the price so you can really get a good price for this phone. Just remember the golden rule of meeting the person face to face when getting something secondhand online. Then once you've bought the phone, you can go ahead and go to the Apple store and you can replace the battery, seeing as the battery prices have gone down way much and then you can have a good phone with a new battery and you're really gonna have this phone for a long time. If you want a 5,000 Rand phone with a new battery, this is a great phone. I think this is really worth it to check out and this is one of the best phones that you will get in that price bracket. If you are looking into trying out the Apple ecosystem and you wanna get into the Apple ecosystem, this is also a great way seeing as though you get a good quality phone for a good price. If you can get the 6S for this pricing, I would not recommend going for the iPhone 6 or the iPhone SE seeing as though the 6S is just much better than both those phones. I really just recommend the iPhone 6S Plus more, even more than the iPhone 6S seeing as though this one has a few features more than the 6S does. I really hope this helps you guys who are looking for a great phone for a great price. So that is basically my opinion on the iPhone 6S Plus. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what are your thoughts on the iPhone 6S Plus and if you think it's worth it in 2018. Let me know any other videos you'd like to see from me in 2018. If it's videos like this and different phones you want me to do, I will definitely try to do those. And yeah, definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon down here. Click up here to see all my other tech videos and click down here to see my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much. Be red and be proud of it. Bye.